Today we're going to be checking out the Razer Viper V3 Hyperspeed Mouse. This is going to be the next version of the Hyperspeed V2. Previous V2 Viper was designed to be ultra lightweight and made for like esports competitive gaming. While this one here has a battery and it's going to add a lot more weight than the previous version. With all that being said, let's check out what was included in the box. So you're going to get the manual with some stickers. The mouse of course, which looks really, really nice and feels good. The Hyperspeed dongle, which can be found in inside of the mouse. And last but not least, a AA battery. So first impressions with this mouse, I love the new redesign compared to the previous Viper 2 version. This one feels a lot more sleek and clean. It has more simple edges, especially around the mouse clickers. And I'm a big fan of the route of simplicity they took with this mouse. This is gonna be a standard FPS gaming mouse. So you're gonna have your standard two buttons on the side here, as well as the DPI button up here. The grip of this mouse is gonna be pretty good overall. It doesn't have any grip included but the texture on the sides of the mouse as well as the top I felt like was pretty good overall and the mouse didn't feel like it was trying to escape from my hand or anything like that. Holding it feels good in most grip styles and I feel like I have a firm grip. If I hold it in palm, it feels good. If I hold it in fingertip grip, this also feels great. And then claw feels natural as well. The scroll wheel is gonna be fully made of rubber and it feels very quality. And I really like these little bumps that they added on there. It's gonna add for a nice gripping experience. Now on the bottom of the mouse, we're gonna see that there are gonna be some skates here, which is gonna help glide on most services pretty smoothly. And then there's also gonna be a 30k sensor that's capable of pulling at 4k. Most of Razer sensors are really good these days, especially the 30k ones, so you're not going to have any issues with lagging. So to turn this mouse on, we do need to open the battery compartment here, and then we need to insert the battery, and then we could start using this thing. Once the battery is inserted, we can just go ahead and flip the switch on. And then you can see we are in action. Now it does feel a lot heavier with the battery in here and that's gonna be potentially a deal breaker if you're someone who needs a super lightweight mouse. With the battery, the mouse is gonna weigh in at 82 grams, which is significantly heavier than the regular Viper V2, which comes in at about 59, 60 grams. So if you're used to using lightweight mouse, you're definitely gonna feel that 20 gram difference. Some people prefer heavier mice while others prefer lighter. So it's really gonna be a personal preference at the end of the day. Now, regardless, the connection you can only connect this mouse via the included hyperspeed dongle this is going to be the dongle and all you do is you plug it into your computer and you're good to go so once you get the computer connected and the razor synapsis software installed this is going to be kind of what it looks like so just quickly running you through this is all the keys that can be customized if we scroll to performance mode these are your dpi settings you can set the amount to the sensitivity of the stages you can able even enable x and y axis as well as the polling rates over here and then there's going to be some calibration settings for your mouse pad and then there's going to be power settings if you want to conserve the battery life and then you can also select what type of battery you're using that way it will give you a more accurate reading on how long the battery will last and then you can also assign specific profiles specific games based on whether that is launched so you can go here and let's say you're you play mud runner you can go ahead and have this profile launch every time this game launches the battery is going to last you for about 280 hours so you don't have to worry too much about charging this mouse so frequently it's definitely a nice thing because it can be a little annoying to plug a cable into your mouse all the time however the trade-off is definitely going to be the weight so things you got to decide do you want a heavier mouse that has a more reliable battery or do you want a lighter weight mouse that you have to keep recharging every time. And there's gonna be no RGB lights on this mouse. As you can see, typically Razer does have this logo glowing, but here it's gonna be no light at all and they're really giving you kind of a stripped down bare bone experience to make the weight as light as possible and now let's do a little click test for y'all to hear what this thing actually sounds like using the gen 2 optical switches Overall, they sound really good. I'm a big fan of the Gen 2s as well as the Gen 3s. They both sound slightly different, but the Gen 2s are definitely gonna be okay in my book. So the overall package of this mouse is gonna be pretty good. It has a lot of features like hyperspeed polling. You're gonna have really nice wireless connections without any lag. The only thing is the weight of this mouse is gonna be about 20 grams heavier than most competitive esports gaming mouse. So that's something you have to decide on whether you can deal with the weight or not. If you 
you can, then I can highly recommend this mouse. If not, then I would recommend checking out something like the Razer Viper V2, which I'll leave my review video over here. With that being said, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.